Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to blur a face. This is going to be building off of the last tutorial which I posted that kind of goes over the tracking that Premiere Pro has. So we're going to use that practically to track a face, and it's going to cause this cool effect where you can blur out a face. And sometimes this is necessary to just blur out a face that you don't have permission to use. If you have a really good piece of footage and you want to use it in like a documentary or something, sometimes the, their faces in it. If you don't have their signed release, you can't use them. So what you need to do is you need to blur the face, and this makes it really easy. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this effect. It's actually really, really simple to do. So all you have to do is just have your footage right here. So this is a, a piece of footage of me. I was just walking through a temple, just kind of turn the camera around, thought it would be a neat B-roll footage to put into something later. So we have this piece of footage right here, and now what we want to do is we want to go into the Effects tab, down into Camera Blur, and then let me drop this down. Let's go to Editing give this a little more view here. We're going to drag camera blur onto here. And now you see it blurs the whole thing. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and select our piece of footage, then go up to effect controls, and then down to camera blur. We want to hit this little circle right here. And then we just want to drag it up to the face that we want it to cover. And then we want to cover like this and just kind of get it, you know, blurred how you want it to be blurred. And then the next thing we're going to do is these buttons right here. What we're going to do is you can kind of control this if it's in the same position. I mean, uh, sort of the same scale the whole time. You can drop out the scale so that it doesn't have to do all that extra processing power. But for now, we're just going to go with this. So what you want to do is you want to take the footage. You want to drag it back to where it starts, line it up, and then just click the play button. Now this is going to take a couple of seconds to work, so I'll come back when it's done. And here we go, it's finishing up. It took about a minute, maybe two minutes to do. And as you can see, when I play back through this footage, there is a blur happening and it's sticking, looks kind of like to my nose maybe, but it's sticking on my face the whole time and we didn't have to change it around. And like I said, for a, like a utility sort of purpose, this is a great tool to speed up time. And especially if it's not as this front and center, if it's something in the background, it'll look a lot better because you don't see the giant lines. You can add a little bit of feather maybe to it to sort of um, blend it in a little bit better. And now we kind of have a blurred face without those sharp lines and then throughout the whole scene, the blurred face is there. Actually, the feather looks really good on this. And just like that, we have a blurred face. And that's really how simple it is. Um, basically, yeah, that's it. All you have to do is just put that the blur on there. Then you have to go you know, mask it out and then just click the track forward button and it should work out fine. If it doesn't work out, play around with the movement, like play around with the structuring of the mask. Maybe switch the settings up a little bit. Um, when you get to the settings tab right there, try position, rotation, something like that until you can get it. And if it doesn't work after all that stuff, you maybe you have to go into After Effects. But for a lot of the cases, this should work out fine and it should save you a lot of time. Thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial. If you've got any questions or comments, throw those in the comment section below. Suggestions for future tutorials, throw those down there below. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to make Adobe-related videos every other day, so don't miss out on those. And yeah, until next time guys, see ya!